Hello everybody, I'm Michael, and today on this episode of Building Watchpoint in Gibraltar, I will be looking at Bricklink to see what kind of pieces and components I will be needing for the upcoming mock, as well as seeing what I might already have some of, so I don't need to order as many. The first piece I'm going to be looking for is plates and tiles. So we're going to click on tile, and I'm needing the 2x2 two two tile with groove, because for some reason the without groove is a lot more expensive. And we are going to be looking in white, bluish, gray. Look at highest quantity. And here we see 118,000, but I think we can get a little bit cheaper than 6 cents. So, okay, see here we have 3 cents, which looks pretty good. And they have 27,000 of these pieces. We will be needing nowhere near that many, but I think this will be a decent amount. So you're going to view those. And it looks like he might have a discount here, depending on how many you buy. So maybe I'll be able to get a discount on some of these parts as well. The next piece I'll be looking for is the kind of large corrugated iron top panel piece. This will be used for a lot of the kind of walls and larger pieces on the map. For the buildings and just everywhere. See if we can find that here. Here we go. 23405. And it looks like dark bluish gray is probably our best bet. Go to highest quantity. We see the highest quantity is 80. But that should be enough for what we need. Let's see if we can find a lower price here. Here's 78 cents, which is a pretty decent savings. But they only have 60. So we'll look and see if they have any sort of discounts over here. Uh, it doesn't look like they offer any kind of bulk discounts, but that makes sense because they don't have a whole lot of them. We'll look at the 82 cent one. Nothing here either. But one of these two will probably most likely be what I purchase because I'm not sure if I'll need 80, but 60 probably should be good. And at 78 cents a piece, that's a pretty good deal for this piece. The third piece I'll be looking for today is the kind of inverted slopes that are going to be used for most of the mountains. Let's look at slope up here. Inverted. Now we want this. And we're going to kind of want it in a tan color because that's what the mountains are around Watchpoint Gibraltar. You go to highest quantity. Person has 4,000 of them, which is a lot. But I think this 23 cents will be pretty good if we can find anything cheaper. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get cheaper. Oh, 16 cents, but they only have 292, and I'm fairly certain we will be needing more than that. But we'll go ahead and look at these 292. Oh, and they're on sale right now, so they're even cheaper. It's pretty good. So I think this will probably be what I end up getting for this piece. On screen now you have seen the LEGO Overwatch Omnic Bastion set. This was released in late 2018 and is only available on the Blizzard website. This is what I'm going to be using for the Bastion character in my mock because the Bastion larger set is nowhere close to figure scale with the rest of the characters. So I'm going to be seeing here it's $25, but I'm going to be looking on Bricklink and see if I can get it any cheaper. We're going to go down to sets and then try to find it in Overwatch. Here we go, we're getting down there. Overwatch. Here we see Omnic Bastion. And lowest price is $31. So it looks like the Blizzard store will still be our best bet for finding this character. And this will be a necessary character for the mock because I do need 12 of many figures or characters for this mock because each team is composed of six people or players and six plus six is twelve so I'll be needing an opposing team and a kind of defending team. Since the end of the Watchpoint Gibraltar map has so many large cylinders and such I'm going to be looking for kind of some cylindrical pieces that I can use and mostly kind of orange and gray. So here's cylinder. Going to be needing some pretty big ones, so I'm going to see what I can find here. 
there's a 4x4x6 four by four by quarter cylinder, which will be pretty good. And we need that, and let's look at dark orange. Uh, well, it looks like there's only two options available for that, and they're very expensive, so I won't be getting those. Let's see in another color if we can find, like, here's just orange. Oh, see, it's a lot cheaper here. If we go to highest quantity, see, $1.13, that's pretty expensive. $0.88, cents, two fifteen. Eighty-three cents, but they only have four. So it looks like I'll probably be having to buy from this dollar thirteen, because I'll definitely need more than twenty-two. Because a lot of the map is big orange kind of gas cylinders and piping. So I think this will be kind of expensive, but definitely worth the detail in the end. After looking at these stairs from these screenshots I took of the Watchpoint Gibraltar map. I realized that just building kind of one brick up wouldn't really work for me. So I was trying to figure out other ways to build the stairs so that each step was lower. And I've kind of found a way that I saw earlier today on Instagram. And they f it involves kind of stacking some tiles and kind of side hook pieces. So that you can recreate like a very small elevation with each step, which I think will be perfect. We're going to look at tiles once again. And we're looking for the 2x4 tile. So there we go. And it doesn't really matter what color, so I'm just going to try to find the one that there's the most of on here. Which looks to be red. So if we go to highest quantity. 18 cents, 17. 16 cents. We'll definitely not need 512 of these. But you essentially put one of these kind of upside down so that you have your bottom studs facing upwards. And then you go to parts, and I'm going to be putting some kind of tiles on top of that and plates. So you stack the tiles and plates, and then you do some edge pieces. And I think this will just kind of be a really good, accurate way for me to represent the smaller kind of steps instead of the bigger ones that LEGO produces. Once again, going to try to look for the most produced one, which appears to once again be red. And then we want highest quantity. And two cents. So these will definitely not be an issue. And I'm sure I already have about a thousand of those from just sets and other kind of bulk things that I've bought in the past. And I think this is the same store that I was looking at one of the other pieces from. So I probably will hit my minimum buy with this store. And then I'm going to be needing some 2x4 plates as well. And I think these will be pretty good for making a really small staircase. 2 by 4 or 2x2s, I apologize. Just looking for the most, which will probably be red, 4,200. Yep. And we want highest quantity. Highest quantity and four cents, one cent for that. So I think these will also be pretty easy to find. And then the final piece is a bracket piece, but I'm not 100% what, sure what they call it on here. Oh, bracket, okay. And we need this kind of one by two bracket. And we're going to be wanting those in light bluish gray. And then in highest quantity. Eight cents, five cents, that's pretty good. Let's see if I can find lower than five. Yeah, five seems like a really good deal for this piece. And especially, oh, three cents right here, okay. So that'll probably be what I'll be using for those. And then the final thing is one of the kind of sideways flat seat pieces, which is also in the panel section. This is second to load, and then we'll be needing these one by two panels. And I'm not sure if I need the rounded corner or the normal, and I'll be looking at that real quick. Okay, so we do want these in light bluish gray. Quantity once again. 
Looks like we can get these for three cents. Yeah, three cents appears to be the cheapest. And then we'll be just kind of building up with those few pieces that I've just looked at. And I think these will be really good to make really small staircases that are compact and very accurate to the actual Watchpoint Gibraltar map. After looking at the path that the payload takes on the map, I realized that a lot of the kind of outside lining of it is in orange. So I'm going to be looking at some orange tiles to see if I can find maybe something that'll work out for those extra little lines. I think I'm just going to want these tile with grooves in look at bright light orange. Yeah, this is definitely the color that I'm wanting. And then we're gonna make this quantity in six cents, two cents. That looks pretty good. I definitely will not need two and a half thousand of those. So I think this is what I'll be getting. The final piece that I will be looking for in today's video is also going to be going with the inverted slopes that I found earlier for the mountain. But I'll just be looking for the normal slopes here. These are going to be used a lot for kind of changing up the design in the mountain, although most of it is kind of inverted like the other pieces that I've already shown. I think this piece will add a lot of detail to the set and kind of the mock in general. And let's look, uh, this should be it. If we go to tan, going to look for the lowest price or quantity. Looks like nine cents for these normal ones, they have a lot of those, which we probably won't need that many of. So these look pretty good, and I think that's what I'll be getting for the mock. Thanks for watching the video. There probably will be some more of these BrickLink look-through videos in the future where I look at some sets, parts, and minifigs. And there might even be some of these videos on eBay or some other sites trying to find some good deals and showing you guys how to find some better deals on these popular like secondhand lego websites if you enjoyed the video remember to like and subscribe and comment anything you may have i'll see you later